Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can create links between different projects so that one project task can follow a task in a different project. So first of all, I'm going to create a master project file. So I'll call this one master projects and then I'm going to insert two project files. There's just one way of doing it. So I'll go into the project tab and select sub project. So I've got two files that I've created, phase one and phase two. So let's just double click on phase one, leave a gap, don't need to leave a gap, but I'm going to, and then get phase two, double click. Now I want these two indented under the master. So let's do that one. So the whole thing's eight days. You can see the bars there. Now these are all collapsed as you can see. If I click on this little triangle that will open them up both of them so and if I just widen this you can see the actual projects themselves so planning design fabrication testing end of phase one market media and so on and so on so you can have different people running these projects as separate things but this one has to follow that one now at the moment they're just independent and they're both going on at the same time which um, you can't actually do now I could just create one project file and have everything in one file but I want my project manager say to work on their their bits independently I've got this master plan so I can see any changes that they make anyhow now to make the link between the two of them let's just double click on this white area and get some information on the Gantt chart type name in there so we can see that stuff there to make a let's say end of phase one when that finishes this marketing plan can start so basically what you do is click on that one hold the control key down and click on that one and then just click the link and then it shifts that project along and you can see it's now following on now what it's actually done is put a path in there and if I double click into this you'll see that under predecessors you'll see that that there under the ID that's where it's put you could actually type that if you didn't want to do the master file like this and have it so you can see it you could physically just type the path and then it would do the same thing now if I just cancel that for a second if I open this phase two project so let's just go and get phase two phase two what you'll see on phase two that it's moved to the 12th and you can see that this is now in here as part of this project end of phase one grayed out and there's a link to it, the same link that you can see. I haven't got the, the labels on this one, but I can do. So the guy, the project manager, whoever can work away on this and he knows that it's going to be triggered. The start date is going to be triggered by that link. So I'll just control S, control W to close that down. And we're back to this one. So that's just a very short video of how to create a link between projects as opposed to just tasks. And like I've said already, you can do it with your control key if you've created a master file or you can just type the path if you know what the path is, like you can see in that predecessor's column. So hopefully this little video was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.